Hi, today we're going to create the static banner that you see on the bottom where it says Peppy Techie and subscribe. It's rolling across a number of videos and it is there to be static so you can have something constant in your video if you want. And I'm going to show you how to use LumaFusion to do it easily, quickly, without using any other programs. So let's get to it. You will hopefully know how to create a new project, but if you don't, you click the plus button in the lower left and you can create a new project. I've already done so creating a static backdrop. It's blank right now. So I'm just going to click on that one and it'll take me into it. One of the things I like to do is when I'm doing a video is go up to help and settings, looks like a little gear, click on help and say show touches. And this is gonna help you because now you can even see when I'm using two fingers and other things that I do on the screen. I do use a keyboard so you won't always see me typing something uh, just so you know it's not magic. So let's start by creating a main title. When I create the main title, I can double click to go into the editor or I can use this little toolbox. It opens and closes and click on edit. It takes me to the editor for the titles. Now the one thing about titles that is great is you can add shapes and images as well as text. So they also come with a number of preset templates and we are going to start with one of those preset templates. You could create your own, but this is for the sake of expediency in making a video. So there are five items that you see here and you have this shape, which is the red box with a white edge. You have this shape, which is the line. You have this shape, which is the eye, which I don't want. So there's a little garbage can and I just say goodbye. You have this shape, which is this, again, the eye and that circle. So I got rid of both of those. Now, all I wanted was these two items right here. Perfect. When you have these texts, you have different texts. You can choose from all these different styles and I'll click through them here for you. And then you can save your own styles and all the things that you like and do to use at many different times. So when you're going into a project, you can just say, boom, that's the text I always use and it's always there. So how do I do that? Well, there's two little saves here. You have a plus with a circle and a plus with a star. And let's talk about the difference. So I'm gonna come here and just choose uh, white for right now. So this one is a title style and that will save the style of the text that you are just typing in or even a shape style which is very cool and this one will actually save everything you do so it will move all of the shapes in there and that is what a save title preset does and i'm going to go back to the info left then i've changed it and put Daisy loves frog in there, so sorry, we're going to have to change that. Um, and these shapes haven't been removed, so I'm gonna remove that circle, and I'm gonna remove that eye, because I don't like those. And I'm now gonna move this red down here, and it doesn't matter if you move it off the box, that's actually kind of nice when you do that. But I needed to make it pretty small so it doesn't overtake the video, and also we're gonna have subscribe over here on the right. And now I'm going to move this down here. And whenever you're moving with text, I truly find that if you go to the right-hand side, there's a size and it helps you to move things a little better, a little get the text to work a little bit better. And then I'm going to move this. And again, if you'll notice, I don't, I'm not resizing this line. I'm going to leave it there. It's going to extend all the way off. The red's going to extend all the way off. There is my Daisy Love Frog, so we're gonna click on that. I don't want Daisy Love Frog. I'm going to, you'll notice right here, you have something that looks like a pad and pencil, and if you click on it, you can now type. So of course, we're going to write Peppy Techie, and I click in the lower right, it'll say done. Um, and 
now I can come here and change this text to something different. I can scroll up and I can change the edge color of this text. I can change the width of the edge color of this text. I'm gonna make it just a little darker and a little wider. And then I can also come and add a shadow angle, which in a lot of cases, I think when you're doing things like this, gives it sort of a 3D look, and I like that. And now I'm going to grab this Peppy Techie and move it a little bit. Now it's still, I think, the red box might be a little big. Come back to the shape here, which is red, and I'm going to move it over a little bit. And now I'm gonna move the line. So now I've got my Peppy Techie. Now the next thing that I really love about LumaFusion is the ability to bring in images. Now they have some images, but obviously I don't wanna use their images. I want to import my own image. I'm going to come here and go to my photo app and I'm just going to click on my favorites because that's where my logo is. And I'm going to resize it by grabbing a corner. And that's about right. Whoop. And I'm going to move it and make it a little bit lower. Okay, so there we go. Now also on the image, I can come down and say I want a shadow on this too. And that also kind of gives it that 3D look there, which I really like in my logo. Now remember, this is the difference. I don't want to save the, I might actually want to say, I might go to Peppy Techie and say, I want to save this style because I like it. And I'm going to do white, black, um, and edge. Help me remember what it is. So that's going to just save the text that I like, white, black, edge, right there. And if you've saved something and you don't like it, you can click on it like I did with this ugly yellow, and I'm just going to delete it and you're gonna say delete, and that goes away. So if there's something you really were just playing with and you just say, I really didn't wanna save that, you can just delete them. So it doesn't take up all the space. It's easier for you to cruise around, and that's under the star. Now, this is when it gets much easier for me because now I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm going to show you how to take a snapshot of what you created. Because you're like, wow, this looks really good. I don't wanna lose this. Very cool feature is to go up to the share button, which is looks like a door, I say with an arrow, and you can take a snapshot. And it saves it right to your photo. The next thing is I'm gonna go back to edit. And I want to save this entire preset of the title. And that means all the shapes, the, the backgrounds, and the logo and everything. And so here I'm going to say, and I'm going to do this as three because I've done this a lot today and I don't want to lose it. Peppy, techie, lower, third, right, with logo. Okay, so I'm going to do that. There's three, PTL13, right, logo. If I tried to just go add another template I want you to know what's gonna happen if I said, hey, I'm gonna go get this again. It writes over it. It's like, oh, I lost all my work. No, you didn't because you saved this. You just say, hey, wait a minute. I'm gonna go back and get that 3PTL L13 logo and it's right there. So how do I get subscribe on there and make it look the same? Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to take the first shape which is the red box, and click to the double plus next to it, and it's gonna recreate that shape, and I'm just going to move it right over here. Move it up a little bit, because I gotta put the line underneath it. I'm now gonna to go to the line shape, hit the double, and I've got a copy now, and I'm gonna move it right over here. This is something you can futz with. I'm doing a video, so I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. So it may not be perfect. 
Now I'm going to tape my Peppy Techie because again, I want it to look exactly the same. You don't have to. And I'm going to copy it. And then I'm just going to move this over. I'm going to click on the little tablet with the pen, backspace over Peppy Techie and write subscribe. And I'm going to change the size a little bit. I have a little bit of space here and I want it to be bigger. Now, the one thing I do want to add to this is an arrow pointing at subscribe. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do any of this, but <laughs> I might, for the sake of doing this for this one, is add a little arrow. So now, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go back up to that door of the arrow to share and click a snapshot. So I have a nice snapshot of that banner. I'm also going to go back to edit and I want to save all of this. So I'm going to come in here to the title preset and I'm going to say Peppy Techie logo with subscribe. Okay, and an arrow. And save it. Now what I want to do is I'm going to add a background and that whole green screen to it. So we're going to come up here to shape and I'm going to stretch this all the way out. Make it fit pretty good. I don't need to make it overlining too much. When I come to this shape, which this is this is this one, I can move it by grabbing the little three arrows and bringing it up all the way underneath everything. Now what I want to do is change that shape to a green screen. And I'm just gonna click green. And voila, I now have a green screen of this backdrop here. First thing I like to do is to create a snapshot of something like this because I'm going to have to use this as a green screen. I'm also going to come back with this green screen. I'm going to come to edit. And the arrow sometimes is something you want to animate. And I am a person who likes to animate. I'm going to try to click on that shape, which is the arrow. We need to find the arrow. And I'm going to delete it. Because there might be a time when I actually want to um, use the arrow and animate it a little bit. And we'll show you that in later videos but I'm going to get rid of it for right now. So now I've got this green screened, and one of the things, again, I want to do is save this as a title preset, and this is my Peppy Tucky lower third subscribe green screen, okay? Click the little star with a plus, and now you have it right there and of course, I've saved this a few times, so it's under a lot of different names. So here we go. Now I have it as a green screen, and I need to have a video. So I'm going to move this up here to the next line, so it's like an overlay title. And I'm going to come in here to my albums and videos. And I'll grab a video here. So now that is on the bottom and it's gonna roll through. It's gonna stay on the video the whole time. So if you're doing an intro or an outro, or maybe the entire video, you're gonna run this on the bottom. That's how you can create a banner to run on the bottom of your video. But those are just some of the tips that I like to share with you today on creating a static backdrop in LumaFusion. And please stay tuned for more videos because we're going to show you how to do all this animation and changing colors and subscribe buttons or any kind of titles you want to mess with. And of course, please subscribe to the Peppy Techie channel. Thank you so much for watching.